So up until recently, I've uh, I've only purchased these mystery tackle boxes um, in the one-off style from Shields or Dick's Sporting Goods here in Colorado. That's where I can find them. Um, Walmart has a couple here and there as well. Um, but a couple months ago, the Mystery Tackle Box was doing a sale on their monthly subscription box. Um, you can pick and choose what you want. And because it was about 30% off, I think, from recollection, um, it made the boxes, the, the monthly box price um, come to about $21. So I jumped on that deal and um, the first month I got a multi-species box I was, you know, somewhat okay with. Um, this month I actually picked up, or had them send me I should say, a uh, walleye box. So I wanted to open this one today. It's a pro box. Um, I'm hoping that this one, this is, you know, current version of the uh, monthly subscription box and it's the, uh, the walleye pro so all right so there's what we're looking at first glance i'll take one of these out at a time show you guys what we got so right on the top here we've got from raptor lures it's uh, 36 inches long, 14 pound, probably mono, uh, I would assume. Some red number four hooks and a number two Colorado blade. So it's a crawler harness. I think that'll, that'll catch a walleye. Pretty good colors in that. So there's item number one. Um, item number two, I truthfully have not seen, in all the boxes I've opened, I have not seen a Strike King uh, crankbait. So here's the first time I've seen a Strike King branded uh, crankbait in one of my mystery tackle boxes. I like Strike King, so that's why I mention it. Um, this is a pro model crankbait, Lucky Shad. Um, the color on the back is the shizzle. The, the shizzle. Okay. Up next. Interesting. This is Hardcore. Looks like the brand. Minnow Flat. It's kind of a like a Japanese brand. Ghost Smelt. Yozuri. Maybe it is the parent brand. But Hardcore. Minnow Flat. Full flat side minnow. I don't know what 130F is. It's floating. Interesting. This is one of those, you know, I feel like there's always um, at least one item in the box where you wouldn't have bought it. And that's kind of the fun of it, right? You get to try something new. So we're gonna get to try something new there. So here's my what's inside. Oh no, they did not. One, two, three, four, five, six. They did it again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so it's like we're not getting the seven to eight. I don't know. Maybe that's not a thing. Maybe I. Maybe that's only with the boxes. I mean, because I'm saving this for later. But you know, this one says right there, five to six items. About okay. Is that there? That's there. They're out. It says about about seven to eight items. Well, I'll show that to you just so you can count them. There's only six items on that list. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jeez, man, that's disappointing. You know, got the typical dibble.
tips and tricks. I always read those. I actually put these in my bathroom. It's my reading material. Um, there's a sticker that I haven't seen yet. They got Ben. Right there. So there's a there's a sticker I haven't seen yet. That's cool. Mystery Tax Box. Um, so here is the next lure. This is a 8B8 Lab Ultimate Strike Baits. Join the family. Ultimate Strike Baits. Okay. Never seen that brand. some tournament winning action in there. I don't know. Looks like some perch color. So uh, next up we've got some tickle grubs. And this is uh, the Kalins Acting Tackle Company. I kind of like, you know, curly tail grubs and call them the three inch tickles. I like that. I'll use those. Uh, and last, because we only get six items. Um, Samaya's Baits. Tried and true soft plastics made in the USA. Looks like some swim baits. And the, uh, six items. tackle boxes I've purchased. Um, the Juggernaut box was great. The Mother Load box was great. Um, and honestly, most of the kind of standard boxes have been great. The ones that are just like your five to six range boxes, those have been great. I'm not, I'm not convinced that the Pro box is worth it. Um, I have not tried an elite box. That's probably the the one thing I haven't tried yet. So I have one month left um, on the subscription that I purchased. So I'll definitely change 
um, from the walleye to something else I might might try a bass box um, for the fall and um, or I might just do one ice fishing box I've got a couple saves that I'm gonna do an ice fishing challenge with my buddy um, so for now at least um, I'll definitely switch away from the walleye box I do have a um, little teaser for the next video I'm not so you know, Mystery Tackle Box was the first one I tried. Um, they've been around a while, so they have a lot of options out there. Um, I kind of actually like finding some of the older ones. If you go to like your local Walmart or your local Dicks, at least here in Colorado, um, they have numbered boxes. And the lower the number, obviously, I think the older the boxes. And uh, some of the more recent boxes I've purchased, they've been okay. Um, but some of the earlier boxes that I've found have actually been some of the best boxes that I've uh, opened up. So, you know, kind of loaded up and, you know, definitely kind of like finding some of those. So that's what I'm hoping some of these are. I've got a, a 103 ice fishing box and a 323 ice fishing box. I think those ones might, might be loaded, but we'll see. Um, so anyway, um, I'm, not, I'm not so tied to the Mystery Tackle Box brand. Um, you guys saw the Eagle Claw um, mystery bag that I got. Um, I also have uh, a Monster Bass box that I've ordered and it's on the way. It should be here soon. So that's next up. I'll